So I wanted to begin <clears throat> today's video with uh, perseverance, man. We had a, the weather dog said we were going to get uh, rain yesterday, 55% chance. So I came out here and started working and working and working, uh, digging up that rock and, you know, bringing it over here and you put it on here and sift the dirt out of it and, you know, someday this is going to be a garden. You know, I... I've been at this since October. This is that's what perseverance is all about. You eat that elephant one bite at a time. Uh, I could finish this up today, but instead, woohoo! We're heading out to Prairie Farms on the motorcycle, and we're gonna do a nice long hike there. Uh, I can't wait to take the video. You guys are gonna love that trail. It's uh, it is my favorite place to hike, but it's a it's a haul. Uh, it's gonna take me a good half hour 45 minutes maybe an hour to get out there But uh, I just thought I wanted to show you this real quick at the beginning of the video Soon soon. There's gonna be vegetables growing back here. I know it seems like a It's been taking forever since October But uh, I'm, I'm determined. I'm determined So we're here at the Ross Prairie State Forest Man, I'm gonna tell you it was a bit of a Bit of a ride out here. Looks like somebody shot a hole in the sign there. And there's a primitive campsite that way. So you can see it says Ross Prairie for primitive campsite parking. We're just at the entrance. And uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite hikes, uh, the Ross Prairie Trail. We're not gonna do the Florida Trail today. I just wanna show you uh, the Ross Prairie because it's got everything Florida has to offer. And uh, let's get started. So I thought I'd show you this, uh, talk about the, the DeSoto Trail. You are standing along the historic route of the conquistador Hernando de Soto and his expedition through the Florida Native American territories in his quest for glory and gold. So you can read the rest on your own and then over here DeSoto's weary and starving army arrives at the village of Ocala. We found the village abandoned, but full of food and supplies. I ordered my men to rest and then gather enough provisions for the next several months. In a few days, we'll begin our journey north to the lands of the Apache. You can read the rest on your own. And uh, this will tell you a little bit about Ross Prairie. You can read that on your own. Ross Prairie is a wetland surrounded by a high and dry ecosystem known as the sand hills. The plants and animals here live on ancient sand dunes, leftovers from when the ocean was higher. So, just pause it right there. And then we got this over here. Where progress meets preservation. Imagine a 200 mile channel across. Oh, that's talking about that channel again. I tell you. Like that's all they want to talk about. You know what? Let's uh, let's get a little selfie. You know the carrier for the bike is still on order. I don't know when it's going to arrive. Well, I mean the carrier's here, but it, there's a lock that's on back order. It's just like a chair. I ordered a new chair for my office because mine broke, and that's on back order. So you don't don't tell me the supply chain is not broken, people. And I told you we were going to get higher gas prices. It's uh, it's 260 a gallon here now. Now I, I know that doesn't compare to California, but uh, it's going up and it's going to continue to go up. You're going to see five dollars a gallon under the Biden administration. I guarantee it. But uh, anyway, I got I got the motorcycle getting 100 miles to the gallon. Now riding out here, I'm going to tell you that wind buffets me at 55, 60 miles an hour on that thing. But uh, that's all right. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Let's get on the trail. So this is the beginning of the trail. As you can see, dogs are permitted here, which is good. And I uh, just kind of wanted to get a quick video. I gotta, gotta hide the helmet and my leather jacket up here in the woods and pray somebody doesn't find it. But how many people are gonna be out here? Uh, then that's, that's where that carrier comes in. That's why I need that lock. But uh, let's just get going. But uh, this is the initial 
portion. I, I, I do. I love this hike. I, years ago, during <laughs> much, like I said, my grandson before the virus would come during July because he's in school during the winter. He lives out in Arizona. And uh, I had him back in here. I mean, it was hotter than hell. And, uh, you know, we were sweating our way around this trail. And because uh, he's, he's six foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just a midget, man. I'm I'm five foot four, but uh, it was funny because uh, he kept getting a face full of spiders. Uh, I felt bad for him, you know. I mean, it, 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 but he he would hit them spiders <laughs> where where I just uh, would hike right underneath them. But uh, yeah, we're we're gonna get going here. Uh, it looks you can see what it looks like. It's a it's a nice hike. I think I'm gonna. Let's see, where can I put the helmet and the jacket? Well, I, I guess I'll work on that. We'll, uh, we'll figure out a place to put them. I was thinking maybe over in here, but uh, with that road nearby. Anyway, this is, uh, this is what the trail looks like. Um, you know, and here's, here's Florida. You know, we do a lot of uh, forest management. This is a fire break. Uh, hey, California, maybe, uh, maybe you should do something to stop your wildfires and put a fire break in every now and then so that uh, you don't have to to worry about the the uh, the fires you know burning down everybody's house uh, so we're we're just getting started you can see it's it's a neat look I always really like this uh, this is like I said this is my favorite hike in the area it's just a, it's a long haul to get out here and uh, you know the Florida Trail actually runs right through here. We'll, we'll get that on the video maybe later on. All right, well let's uh, let's uh, let's hide this helmet and the jacket and get going. See now this is why dogs get banned from the trails. Look at what some dumb, stupid son of a gun did. Bagged up his poop, which was good, and then just left it here on the trail. That's disgusting, people. Come on. You know, here I am back on the EIB network, and uh, I guess they're doing uh, the history of Rush and <laughs> back from the dead. He's making me laugh again. God, I miss that guy. But this this is the trail, uh, as you can see, it's it's a really really great hike. You know, I uh, I just love it. I mean, this is this is. I, well, I, I, other than the trail across 464 down by Baseline Park, uh, now you see how this is breaking out into a new look? And that's what I wanted to show you, you know. You just came through what we were seeing back there, and now you're seeing this. And uh, this is why, uh, this is probably one of the best hikes in the whole area. But anyway, I don't want to make too long a video here. Not a lot to talk about. I, I did my That Cybersecurity Guy talk video the other day. Showed you my community. But uh, you can kind of see how this looks completely different. And that's what I was saying about this trail. Is that you get all looks. All looks uh, that, uh, that is possible here in Florida. And uh, you know when the trail changes again we'll get some more video. But I'm going to get back to my buddy Rush. Bye. So this is new. They're putting little signs along the trail now. The gopher tortoise. I've seen a bunch of those, man. Land-dwelling herbivore reptile. The gopher tortoise lives on dry sandy areas and feeds for many hours. And I'll let you read the rest of that on your own. But, uh, you yeah, know, like I said, we're just still in the pines and uh, continuing on along here. And uh, <laughs> I'm, list I'm now listening to an opera uh, <laughs> on the Rush Limbaugh show that's talking about how... You know, Rush is uh, is the hand of God. <laughs> that guy had one hell of a sense of humor. He's uh, it's just funny as hell listening to it, and uh, he's gone. You know, I may have to cut some of this out, <laughs> but it's just it's just so awesome. Well, it's a perfect day. I mean, it's 70 degrees here, and uh, or 71, maybe 72, and uh, just out enjoying this this hike. Uh, I did see one person, so that means all the spider webs are down. He was a tall guy, so I don't have to worry about spiders today. <laughs> you know, my arachnophobia. Oh, my goodness. But uh, 
so you can just kind of see hey this is going to be the primitive camping area and uh you really got to check this out we'll, we'll get back in there and I'll, I'll start the video up again i hope i'm not taking too much video but you can see there's the sign so we're diving back down into the forest and uh after looking at that beautiful site back there and uh just a amazing hike i just one of my favorites one of my favorites and uh you know I, I deserve this man i spent two doggone days shoveling rock i mean last night my back hurt so bad i'm trying to get that vegetable garden in you know whoever the previous homeowner was must have dumped a ton of rock back there and uh you know i'm taking it out one shovel full at a time but uh eventually i'm going to show you uh what it is to grow your own darn food that's my goal all right let's keep on going you can see the trail isn't this awesome i just i just love it see i wanted to get this on the video you know it, you saw where we were hiking back there with that different look and now look look at what you're breaking out into that's what i was talking about with this trail it's just incredible how many different looks you get of florida you know in a short period of time it's not a huge hike we'll probably do some of the florida trail today uh, i don't know if i can get back to where i left off coming from shangri-la but you know look at this now during the summer you know this is this is all a grassy plain area you know now i don't know i mean it almost looks like they cut the grass down in there i can't believe they would do that um but uh who knows maybe the deer came up in here and ate it and you know this is uh this is why this trail is so really fantastic look at this a nice little bench here you you could come up in here and have a picnic and uh and just look at this you know so we're just going to hike on around and uh and then it's going to dive back it's going to kind of go all the way around and then we'll we'll dive back in and uh we'll get another video then so this is the uh primitive campsite that i was telling you about that's a bit you know it's a little teeny hike to get back in here but wouldn't this be awesome you could put your tent right back in there and uh you could have a fire cook something picnic table uh, needs to be upgraded but uh other than that just a nice little little area there's a bird over there and uh anyway just wanted to show you you know this uh this is a you know it's really nice that, that you have something like this uh you know, I just want to walk back here and see what it looks like. Uh, no, you wouldn't put your tent here. I would, uh, I'd just put it back in here. Maybe we'll do that sometime and we'll make a video about it. Boy, I tell you, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be awesome? Look at that sun. You know, if you came here and you could, you could spend a day and, you know, spend the night. And uh, I, bet it, I bet it would be just an incredible experience, you know, for, for just a quick overnight uh, trip with the, with the backpack. All right look at that we just came from there and boom this is what the trail does i mean just a totally totally different look and feel i i i well anyway I just keep saying that, that this is just a great hike well well identified hiking trail this way you know of course well well maintained i mean this is an easy easy hike and uh as <laughs> i almost trip over a stump all right, so just want to get that look. I'm sorry, this video is going to get long, but these are new. You can tell the post is fairly new. So it says a resurrection fern, often seen growing on the branches of trucks of hardwood trees. This fern is an, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, or air plant. And I'll let you read the rest on your own. And, uh, and that's what they're talking about right here. Isn't that beautiful? This is why I love hiking, people. No, I'm taking way too much video, dang on it. And I just, boy, putting all these clips together is going to be a pain. But you can see we just came through that. Now look, boom, we're diving right back into the woods. That's what I'm talking about with this trail. You get so many looks so fast. It's uh, it's just a, a really, really unique experience, and. Uh, and, and extremely well marked, you know, you see the blue marker on the tree and the little sign there saying trail this way. It's, uh, I could, I could come out here every day and hike this trail and just, and love life. But, uh, you know, we've, we got to get back on the Florida trail again uh, and start 
continue with the 1500 mile journey uh you know i gotta i gotta prepare myself to to get up through the uh that area where i'm just gonna have to put the snake leggings on and just push my way through the underbrush uh, that's the next phase of the northern hike you know this is well this is not part of the eastern hike this is just a trail but you know like i said maybe we'll get some of the florida trail today and maybe make a separate video and see once again we came from there and boom right back into the prairie on the on the on another spot so the the trail just basically brings you back to the prairie on different sides but uh what an incredible sight look at that it's amazing all right so we're going to be diving back into the woods and uh love the white sand here all right so let's get a little selfie so the trail kind of meandered through the woods and now we're breaking out on the other side of that uh, grassy area that I showed you earlier. And, uh, oh, there's a guy. <laughs> he's, he's walking his dog. I can see him over there. And uh, he obviously came in on the other side of the trail. You know, it's, uh, it's all good. I, I, I just, uh, I love this hike. It's, uh, well, I keep saying it's one of my favorites. But let's uh, just show you from the other side what it looks like. So there's a the guy over there hiking his dog and uh you know all we did was just go back in the woods over here and then came around and uh just a just a really awesome day oh my gosh that's i'm so glad that i got out and quit working on my my vegetable garden and you know that's the thing you know in life you got to just break everything up you just you can't work 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 all the time and you know, sometimes you, you have to ride the motorcycle and uh, go for a hike. And that's all today is. It's just going to be a huge motorcycle ride. It's, I tell you, you know, coming out here, that 60 mile an hour wind, it really buffets you. But I got the leather jacket and the helmet, and, you know. And, and that's why I have to wear those to come way out here. Because this is a long drive from my house. But, uh, okay, enough of that. We're, we're just going to have to make a long video. I... I Hopefully I can upload it. God knows I can't imagine what it's going to take to splice all this together. But uh, now look at this. You see what I'm talking about? You know, now I'm coming out. Look at that controlled burn. You know. And, uh, well, we're just kind of, you can see, we're just kind of working our way around that uh, grassy area. But, uh, it, oh, and look at the water. Oh, man. I, You know, during the summer, there was no water in there. So that's, uh, it's kind of a, well, we're, I guess we're on the other side, and it's, uh, it's kind of a swamp over here. And uh, you can see, once again, I mean, look at here. You got a bench. You could sit here on that bench and just look out over that. Imagine in the evening, you might see some deer or, uh, or who knows what else might be in, down in that uh, prairie area. And, uh, man, I just, uh, but yeah, that water, uh, that wasn't here. Well, we've had a lot of rain, so, okay. So, once again, you came up to the, uh, the prairie area from a different angle. It's like I can't get enough video. And here's a, here's a little birdhouse right here. Kind of, kind of cool. And, uh. You know, you can see a whole, that's his thing. Another whole different look. He just kind of mosey in and out of the forest. It's just awesome. So we just came from there. And look. Boom. Whole different look again. We're busting out into a, a whole different area. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Kind of getting back into the pine trees a bit. Still got the bushes on the side. Still got that narrow field of the trail. Let's just be quiet and let you enjoy the look here for just a second. All right. I guess you got the... You got the feel of it. There you go. Awesome. 
So like I said, these little signs are new. The longleaf pine is a fast growing fire resistant pine as the name suggests. Its needles are 10 to 15 inches long, grouped in clusters of three. The large cones are six to 10 inches long, egg shape when open. And I'll let you read the rest. But, uh, and that's what it's talking about right here with the pine trees. We'll just do a 360 real quick. And see, just, just after the pine trees, look at what we've div dove down into. I mean, it's, it's just, this is why I love this trail. I mean, look at what you're seeing now. It's just uh, wonderful. And, uh, man, we're, we're just working our way through. But uh, you can kind of see why I love this hike. I mean, you just, you feel like you're way the heck back in the forest. Uh, you know, but it's, uh, I've, I've never seen a snake or anything on this trail. I've hiked it four or five times. Like I said, it's a long drive to get out here. And that's why I'm getting 100 miles to gallon on the motorcycle. Because, uh, uh, you know, to drive out here, once it hits $5 a gallon, would be pretty expensive just for to go for a day hike. But, uh, you know, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? I mean, here's kind of a dead tree. And just work your way around. Uh, as soon as it change, the look changes again, I'll, I'll get some more video. Maybe I'll just make two videos. <laughs> but here you can see, so we're... we're we're diving off of the long leaf pines and then boom trail completely becomes different completely you know now we're back into the, the the look and feel of what we've seen before with the with the palm trees and the oak trees and everything else so it's just a amazing hike amazing oh that got it i just I know this is going to be way too long a video, but isn't this just incredible? You know, you just, uh, just love being back in here. Just, uh, I mean, you, you've seen the other portions of the trail. It's just so insane to how, the, how this thing just shows you everything Florida has to offer. That's, that's literally what it does. You know, you just keep keep moseying on along now you can see you know you'd think we'd see a deer or a bear <laughs> maybe even a snake somewhere along the way but uh, no it's just a it's just it's always been a, just a very pleasant hike I, like I said I've done this about three or four times maybe maybe more uh, but I just uh, this is this is this has got to be the greatest hike around this area that I've found yet so then we're gonna we're gonna get out back on the uh, Oklawaha River, and uh, there's another section there that's gonna be right along the another portion of the river. So that's gonna be another hike that we'll we'll get into. But uh, all right, that's enough there. So look here, we just came through that. Boom, very nice, very nice. They got it everything hike. I mean, marked really well, and then boom, whole different look, whole different look. So I guess this is it because we're coming up on the fire break trail and this will just wander us right back and uh, we'll get started on the next video which will be some of the Florida Trail. But uh, yeah, if you ever don't want to just come out for a day hike that's only, well, I, I, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half. I don't know how long I've been hiking. But uh, just, a, just an amazing, amazing hike. Um, hopefully my helmet, my leather jacket are still hidden behind that tree I can't imagine they wouldn't be I've only seen one person so should be good to go there you know I hadn't really thought about it and why I love this trail so much it's because they didn't overcut it you saw how on a lot of the trails they widen them out way too far and uh, you don't really get the feel like you're really hiking on a trail I mean look how narrow this trail is sometimes I'm having to duck underneath limbs and you know get around stuff uh, step over stuff i mean that's you really really just it's it's a hiking trail i mean this is what a hiking trail is supposed to be you don't widen it out where 10 people can walk side by side you know it's meant to be a trail see look at this isn't this awesome of course you got the big tree coming up with the with the uh all the palm trees and uh you know and the other thing is it, it winds around quite a bit 
you see how I'm making lefts and rights and going and it just uh, it's just a great great feeling and uh, I, I I don't know it's just awesome let's uh, let me just be quiet and let you enjoy the hike for a minute I know this video is gonna get too long but you know you don't need to listen to me yammering on Oh, look at the butterfly. Sorry, broke the silence. Okay, I, I'll stop there. So here we go. Once again, a different look. I'm gonna go off trail here. Just try to get over here and just uh, see this. This is this is what hiking's all about. You know, you can't just stay on the trail a lot of times. Sometimes you gotta. Get off of it, but uh, isn't this uh, incredible? I mean, you can kind of see what I'm seeing, and uh, this is the permafrost. I'll try not to step on any of it, but uh, damn it. there we go. You can see the control burn. That's uh, it's beautiful, just beautiful. So here you go. Once again, a different look. Look at the permafrost down here. And then you got the bushes. And the trail's just kind of looping back in with the bushes on the side. I, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just really, really cool hike. So, I mean, I, I well, it's my favorite. It, I, I can, let's just say it. So far, everything that I've hiked, I've said Marshall, I mean, Marshall Swamp is unique, but it's, they're not taking care of it. The bridges are falling down, and usually it's, it's real swampy, so, you know, you, you got to hike through the mud, and, um, but, I mean, it's beautiful. I would love being back in the swamp, but uh, this, uh, this just has the different looks, you know, that's, that's the key, so, but uh, you can kind of see the, the bushes on the side. You know, it's got that narrow feel to it. That's, uh, I keep talking about that, but uh, they didn't overcut this trail. Um, so it's uh, got this great feeling. Man, this video is going to get long. You're going you're gonna to hate watching this one. But uh, I just, uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's like, wow, I just got to keep filming. I guess I'll try to cut some of it out. All right, uh, enough of this. So you can kind of see what I'm seeing with the palm trees over here and the other big oak trees and wandering through. Love it, love it, love it. Pick up to right here and give you this the, the address, 911 address, 10660 Southwest Highway 200, Dunludden, Florida. So if you wanted to find the uh, the park here, of course, here's also the forestry, well, that's the forestry station down in Ocala. It's Silver Springs that never picks up the garbage along the road there. But uh, you can kind of see the map. This shows you what it looks like here. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, we're in a horse country, you know. So a lot of times they bring the horses right up in here and park and uh, unload the horses. And then they, they take the horses around in here. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, I just wanted to show you the sign. So no hike is complete without a look at the bathroom. This is the, uh, it's real nice. I mean, I didn't even, never been up in here. Non-registered guest shower fee, $8. See the campground host. Good luck with that. But you know what, I, I during the summer, I dare say the campground is empty. Because I mean, when it's 110 degrees, you know, I'm the only person that comes out here and hikes this. It'd be nice to come up in here and get a shower. But, uh, what, you know, look at this tile. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, uh, this is just a... And then there's the toilet. Anyway, let's, uh, let's walk around the campground just a little bit. We'll make, uh, you know, 
add to the video. I'm pretty sure this is going to have to be two videos. I took too much on the trail. But uh, we're going to be back here. Uh, this is kind of... I, I'm kind of focused on this until I get the courage to go hike that other trail going north. But uh, the Florida Trail, it goes right by this fence down here. And I've hiked it before and it goes up into the woods and kind of turns left and goes this way. Um, you can see the campground, isn't that, isn't that nice? Um, man, 70 degrees, it's just incredible weather we're having. And uh, kind of a kind of a neat little campground. I mean, if you wanted to, if you're backpacking or, or uh, just want to come and hike around in this area. But let's go down and we'll look real quick at the, uh, there's an old Boy Scout uh, campground right down in here as you, as the Florida Trail dives it down. You see, here's the sign. Florida Trail this way so you'd kind of never know and uh, I just want to show you that real quick and uh, you know this is this is you know still at Ross Prairie and uh, you know the next section of the Florida Trail you know rather than come back and, and hike the uh, Ross Prairie area let's just look at the campground while I'm walking um, we got to come back and we're gonna hike this way down the Florida Trail and hopefully get all the way to the point where I stopped coming from Shangri-La that day uh, when I wasn't feeling, I just, that day, I just, I don't know what was going on. In fact, that here recently, I had a sore throat. I was worried that I might have caught COVID because um, my taste uh, was kind of gone and I had a sore throat. And of course, I, I, you know, at that point I had to, I had to sequester myself in the house, uh, but uh, I never got too bad. I mean, you know, completely over it now. I feel great today. In fact, uh, today's more about the uh, motorcycle ride than it is the hiking. And uh, let's go get the, well, see, it says Scouts Camping Area. Too bad the Boy Scouts uh, don't exist no more. Uh, what a great organization that was. I'm sorry that politics get into everything and ruin everything. But uh, you can see the people, they're just sitting out over here. Here's a guy. <laughs> He's just laying in his chair, catching some sun, man, just kicking back. I mean, it's... Uh, what a beautiful day. All right, let's look at this campground and then I, I got to get on the motorcycle. I, I, I should show it to you. Um, check this out. I, I, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get it out at the campground and uh, I'll show, show you my next uh, resilience uh, endeavor, which is uh, the second half of the day here. See, this is the uh, scouts camping area. But if you were backpacking, you know, of course you could just throw up a tent here. Uh, picnic tables are in pretty good shape. Fire pits are good. Um, you know, once I have that carrier for the back of my motorcycle, it wouldn't be a nice, it'd be a nice little overnight camping trip just to, you know, hike the tent up in here and maybe just set it up. Uh, now the Florida Trail, we're going to come back. It goes on this way. Uh, unfortunately, the I think it's merged with the biking trail or maybe I was hiking the wrong trail the last time I was here but I, I and so you you know you're sharing the trail with with the bikes uh, until unless they've separated it and uh, we'll come back uh, and you can see you know you got the different look here just a, a amazing state park it's got everything you know the showers the bathrooms the, uh, that Bross Prairie Trail which is, is my my favorite in the whole area but uh, let me get to get, show you my next endeavor. And I come to find out, I mean, this is something for, for you to think about. Now, my water heater is, is like 14, 15, 17 years old, believe it or not. And uh, so I was online and I looked and I found this, this guy. Uh, I've been studying it at YouTube. And uh, it turns out this, this particular hot water heater now it's 631. I said, well, damn, that's a lot of money for a hot water heater. Um, but uh, it serves a couple of purposes, okay? Well, and here's the, here's the thing. There's, a, there's up to, up to, and what up to means I have no idea. There's up to a $350 rebate uh, for if I buy this hot water heater to replace the one that I got because it's a little bit more energy efficient. And uh, if I can get that $350 off, I'm doing it. Because right now I'm paying Duke Energy, and I know this is stupid, 
you know you, I always offer these utility uh, warranties and then and then they're gonna cheap out you know I mean what what would they do they probably just replace the heating element and not replace the hot water heater so I'm paying six dollars a month uh, for insurance on that thing because when I first moved in I thought man this hot water heater because you know back in uh, Michigan my hot water heater failed in a hurry you know and uh, so I don't want to wait I want to be proactive and not reactive folks that's uh, called resilience and so if I can get that $350 rebate or even 200 off of that thing I'm going to replace it and then I can cancel that insurance policy and save myself six dollars a month now you say Kirk well it's only six damn dollars a month well guess what you know you multiply that times uh, 12 okay so that's 66 uh, 72 that's 72 dollars a year and I've been paying that for three years so I'm already three hundred dollars into the next hot water heater just in insurance for my other stupid hot, hot water heater so why not just replace the damn thing so that's where we're heading we're going to Lowe's uh, it's just down 200 this way uh, and plus I want to ride the motorcycle god I haven't been able to ride it for what a week you know, what's between the rain and you know the weather dog was correct today and that's what I'm gonna call him from now on because you know my dog does better with the weather forecast <laughs> than, than they do uh, forecasting here in Florida but uh, we did have it they said about zero percent chance of rain today and that's why I busted out I got to go back into the woods over here and pray that my my leather jacket and my helmet are still in there so I got a got a bit of a hike to get there but uh, just wanted to show you this we'll be back this is this is the next big hike because uh, we got to get back towards the Shangri-La in in our endeavor to hike all 1500 miles of the Florida Trail and I hope you enjoyed Ross Prairie as much as I did uh, just just an amazing place to come I I wish it wasn't so doggone far away um, but uh, you know riding that motorcycle it's it's kind of scary for me you know because I'm I'm an old fart you know going going 60 miles an hour on that motorcycle and <laughs> coming out here for for a long period of time you know you even with the helmet and the leather jacket and everything you think man if if this thing goes over on me or I you know something happens or a car pulls out in front of me or whatever you know it's uh, the odds are against you well, let's just put it that way so let's go on down in here and try to find my my helmet and the leather jacket I can't wait till that carrier lock comes in and I can put that uh, storage container on the back of the uh, motorcycle that'll be a happy day so and oh hey man I tell you see here's here's the other thing you got this picnic shelter and so especially on a really hot day uh, it's nice I, I just went in there and I had me a, a beef jerky and a power bar and drank some water and even had a beer <laughs> Of course no alcohol is permitted here at this state park so they say but uh yeah so you know i just i just sat in there and had a little picnic and uh what a, what a perfect day all right so let's go get the helmet and the um, uh, leather jacket